Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going over this rise in Bitcoin price that we have seen over the last week, what this now leaves us with in terms of targets and how I am trading this um, and yeah, and I'm going to be reviewing you know how we got to this price which has just been absolutely brilliant, a wonderful start to 2020 and I hope that you are very pleased with uh, how it's gone because um, I certainly am. So let's go straight into this. Um, okay, so firstly... Let, let me go as normal. Let's just review how we got to this point. It's, it's very important, you know, for educational purposes, at the very least, to know how we got here. OK, obviously, all started on that 18th of December swing failure pattern. OK, so we obviously formed our original low 25th of November in our trading range. OK, we swing failure that low and obviously got our very nice rise in price. OK, so about 15 percent rise before coming back down, getting rejected by our weekly, but ultimately coming down to this 618 support just time and time again. It's such an important level. It's lovely, isn't it? And then obviously from our low to our high, coming down to the 618, getting continuation to the upside, okay? So, uh, you know, you know, this was not a hard long. Let's be honest, it was kind of not really a hard long to, to take. But you have to think that if you're longing here, price rises to 8,000. That, that's an over $1,000 rise in Bitcoin price. But you have to remember, it's only, um, you know, while you're sat in BitMEX, okay? So let's say you're sat in BitMEX profits. It's only... Uh, you know, essentially fake profits until you actually click sell, until you actually realize profits. It's all just unrealized PL. So you actually have to be taking profits, locking it in, you know, for that profit to actually become real, essentially. Which is what I was highlighting to yesterday. Uh, like, you know, you could have traded very well, but until you click sell, it's not profits. And that's why I'm, I'm such a believer on taking profits is very important. So I was yesterday taking profits at the 8,000 level, which was on negative 236. OK, and so you're aware how you get this from low up to the high. You obviously get our 618. The negative 236 is generally going to be a target area. Combine that with the fact that 8,000 is, is a psychological level. What envisions, you know, a pullback at that region and safe to say that was definitely a good take profit yesterday because we have now obviously pulled back sitting at around 7,873 okay um and i would like to show you the trading update that i gave to my group yesterday and this was that uh you know i was just mentioning that you know we were what must have been sat around 7,500 okay when i released this yesterday and i was saying you know i'm not going to be shorting anything until 7,300 is is lost essentially and, and you know shows a sign of weakness because what i saw was just everybody was so bearish yesterday you can pause and read this if you would like but wait basically while we were sat while we were sat around here yesterday it's just everybody was so keen on shorting it just as they were when we were sat at 7,300 okay and in my last champion stream which um you know I could release this to the public actually uh for a new year's gift uh let's see if this video gets over 100 likes I'll, I'll happily release this so everyone can watch it but uh anyway I was saying in this region that this is just such an obvious short it's you know it's unlikely it's going to work out well <laughs> and that's why we were sat around here and you know the, the same then I highlighted that to everybody and well players contenders champions just saying again that everyone's so bearish wanting to short this this can give fuel to a rise in price essentially a short squeeze and that is essentially what we got obviously I was just to be transparent I was sculping shorts during the rise okay but there's a difference between sculping and you know thinking this is the top 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 um you know because that's you know just giving fuel a sound Exactly. It just gives you the fuel for a short squeeze. And we did get that essentially breaking the top of our range coming up to 8,000. OK, so that's like led us to where we are now. OK, you know, obviously finding support for the 618, getting a bit of a short squeeze fueled in there by just people being silly with their shorts and, uh, you know, topping out at the moment currently at 8,000, negative 236 and just the psychological level of 8,000. OK, um, Obviously, if we if you look at some you know indicators, you're going to see a lot of oversold readings around here. Not that I don't pay too much attention to, to attention to uh, indicators per se, but you know just bear in mind that you are a little bit overbought. Um, so yeah, now that leads us on to like how I'm trading it right now. So uh, again, I'll, I'll show you some screenshots of how my group goes on a general day. Um, so I was waking up this morning saying, you know, I'm looking to enter this short, but uh, not yet. I still believe there was a rise in price to come. And then if you just want to like pause and read through this, exactly what I was looking for, looking for, looking for. Uh, here we go. Here I'm updating the group saying that I've got two of my short orders filled. Da 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 other people start joining me on the shorts other people start joining you on the shorts people start making some money and uh yeah there you go and then obviously we have since had our drop in price 
Uh, so then when we come down on a lower time frame, uh, this is what essentially I was looking for. I've left it open on this account that what we can see is, you know, price obviously came up to that again, that 618 region. You know, this is a good area to sculpt from. You have to remember that sculpt trades are generally short term trades, you know, you're in and out, in and out. And again, on my main account, I, I come out of the trades sooner. But on this one, I like to keep it open for the sake of the video to show you that, you know, I'm taking these trades and making money on them. Um, so yeah, there's there's that for a little bit of transparency. But you know, this is definitely only a short term trade. Okay, so um, now that leads me on to what I would like to go through on the more of a mid term view. Okay, so obviously, yeah, I'm in a short short scope now. But um, what I am kind of expecting over, over the next, let's say that the week to come. Um, I do think that there is the, you know, definitely we can come up and re-challenge this high <clears throat> for something like this, okay? Breaking up anywhere between, you know, you have to look you have to look at the swing failure of the highs. So and there's always the possibility of doing this. But uh, one would like, I suppose, one would like to see this rise to around 8,200, 8,300 and test this weekly. Okay, so that's 8,233. I say this while we are, you know, pretty much uh, getting a strong move down in price. But, um... <laughs> you know, I guess you could see a, a, a bit of something like this, but I would like to see the highs of 8K retested at least, okay, up to 8,300, okay? Obviously, we have a levels higher than this if, if we should get impulsive, but nevertheless, 8.2, 8.3, I would like to see the move up to here before ultimately back testing around 7,650. Okay, reason why I say 7,650 is obviously we had the uh, CME futures. Um, I want to say this was a little bit of a runaway gap. Okay, potentially, but uh, you know, I just don't think that the Bitcoin market is mature enough to. To, to really care about whether it's a runaway gap or, a, you know, an exhaustion gap at the end of the day. It just seems like these gaps just get filled, period. <laughs> so, um, you know, this this obviously we got this gap at around 7,650 ish. So that's just something weighing on my mind. OK, and, and as it should, I think everybody else, because they they well just looking at this in this, you know, field, 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 you know, you just be aware that we got that 7,650 does definitely not have to be filled. So anyone saying it has to be filled, it, it doesn't it, it just doesn't have to be filled. We could just move up from here. But I think it's 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 something to bear in mind and it's likely to be filled. So that, let's be honest there. OK, but at the very least, what we have is this daily level at 7,749. And if you come down to the smaller term time frame, you can see there was reactions around this level last night. OK, so we originally come up and, you know, this is where I sculpt shorts from. OK, so I was sculpting a short, for instance, from this daily. You can see you get these drops in price from the level. And, you know, if you're a sculpt trader, if you can, you know, sculpt for 0.5 percent, then that is a good trade. <laughs> so, uh, you know, that's all you need while you're sculpting, to be honest. But um. Yeah, you know, these re these these levels, you can see the respect that they've had. You know, there's the respect of the weekly. Obviously, firstly, resistance, flipping it into support, moving back up. Then, you know, reactions around the daily. Then, obviously, reaction around negative 236. When you got the fibs and the levels, you know, trading is, is, is enjoyable. Let's just say that. Um, so, you know, that then brings me on to, um, I think that's everything that I wanted to cover, actually, in this video. I gave you my outline, I guess, of, of how I'm currently trading on it right now, which is in the scope short. Although I've, I have taken profits on my main account, but uh, nevertheless, still got you know a little bit of running. Um, what we then have is on the midterm. I would, you know, although I'm sure I would like to see this push up anywhere between 8,000 high to 8,300. You know, if you keep going above, then you know you know, disguise the limit sort of thing up to around 9k. But um, you know, here we're looking at really seven, eight, two, eight, three before getting that pullback where well, I would like to see this gap filled 7,600 ish I guess if it becomes very very bearish then you could see this come back into 7,500 but then that would be you know essentially breaking back into the range which you don't want to see as a bull bulls really 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 I mean if I'm honest don't really want to see this come below 7,000 really where you are now 7,850 you don't want to see this loss as a bull if I'm honest the filling the gap and back up is the possibility that I would like but you know you don't really want this to be coming back into the range if we're honest here for a bullish scenario otherwise things could flip bearish pretty quickly um, and I think that's everything that I wanted to cover in this video. Uh, pretty sure haven't missed anything uh, uh, apart from yeah that XRP short, which was very nice. That is now down like eight six percent or something. Uh, but uh, you know. <laughs> yeah, I think that's everything that I wanted to cover. Uh, so uh, there was the gap that I was mentioning, by the way. But um, yeah, uh, thank you, everybody. Hope that you have enjoyed this video. I, I think I will do that for a little bit of a you know, if you've enjoyed this video and it gets 100 likes, I will release uh, a bit of my uh, 
ch last Champions live stream where I was, you know, going over this rise and saying, well, I think we were around 7,300. So price was here and I was saying at the very, 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 very least, I do expect this to move up to the weekly. If that doesn't happen, I will be ultimately very, very surprised. And, you know, obviously that did occur. We did break the weekly. We did backtest it. We moved up again. So I'd have, be happy to share that with you all uh, if you would like to see that. Um, <clears throat> if not, then no, no worries. I don't mind. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's given you some insights into how I'm trading this, what I'm looking for. Um, yeah, and how well the group is doing right now, I suppose. Uh, so yeah, thank you everybody so, so much. Uh, once again, I will catch you in the next video. Thank you and um, have a good day. Cheers. Bye. <laughs>